California faces an overwhelming challenge. There's a lot of, of horrible consequences that, that can happen. California State Assembly Member Bob Blumenfield is talking about the further massive cuts that will have to be made to California's public safety services if revenue extensions are not approved. What happens if we don't get the revenue extensions? We know that that's billions in additional cuts would need to be done on the state level. 500 million in local public safety. Blumenfield, chair of the Assembly's Budget Committee, along with Assemblymember Henry Perea and local public safety officials, met for a budget summit in Fresno. The summit, which was webcast live, focused on how previous budget cuts have hurt police and fire services and how more cuts would decimate public safety. Local officials in Fresno were very honest about what further cuts would do. The consequences will be more people victimized, more people hurt, and, um, and the economic livelihood of this region diminished further. So but that's exactly what Fresno and the rest of California are facing if the governor and the However, legislature are forced to do an all-cuts state budget. Since 2007, many local agencies have lost 25 to 35 percent of their staff, including Fresno County's Sheriff's Department. Over 80 deputy sheriffs, over 130 correctional staff, and over 70 professional staff. Now, that has been uh, devastating. Now, those departments could be facing even more cuts, which translates into longer response times for both police and fire, an increased threat to public safety, and a host of other problems. It results in bad public policy, because when, you, when you're forced into that box, you start also doing all sorts of other ways that are not the innovative ways that uh, Mr. Parks is talking about, but, but end up being early releases and, and putting people back in the community that you know are going to recidivate, um, things that we don't want to see. California's budget deficit is hovering around $26 billion. So far, the legislature has made $14 billion worth of cuts and other solutions. Now, legislative leaders are faced with the dilemma of making another $14 billion in devastating cuts or simply continue with the existing taxes that people are already paying but are set to expire on July 1st. But the governor's put together a thoughtful plan of extensions, not increases, uh, that makes sense. But we just have to get uh, really the momentum throughout the state to make that happen. And that's what Assembly Democrats are trying to do. But their time is limited with the constitutional budget deadline looming in June. So they need the public's help. It's critically important that everyone play that role in terms of holding us the elected officials in the state of California accountable. Blumenfield is urging people to contact their state assembly members and state None senators and let them know that an all-cuts budget would be devastating to California and our future. Citizens of this California report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services. Members.